David, good to be here. Um, Sarah, Mike. Hello. Hope you can deal with all this noise, but nice to have a lot an of noise, IPO, yeah. right? You never say that's a bad uh, thing. IPOs are always a good thing. <laughs> Brings more capital into the market, expands the capital markets. Yeah, actually, I, would, I want to get to that with you, but let's start off with the earnings themselves. Right. You know, on the call, you're talking about the uncertain backdrop, of course, but it doesn't mean there's a lack of opportunities. You had decent inflows this quarter, interestingly more into fixed income perhaps than other areas, although maybe that was expected. I I think in, the, in, the, in, the, in a period of so much uncertainty, um, with growing fear, more anxiety throughout the world, people are staying a little close. And, you know, we've had $9 trillion of money now into money market funds, record levels, and some of that money is going into fixed income. Um, but the alternative, though, if you were fully invested in the equity markets, you would have made 25 percent return. So and this is what I try to talk about. It's not about the moment. Yes, there is uncertainty. But over the long run, do you believe in American style capitalism? Do you believe in the markets? And over the long run, I do believe our markets are going to continue to be driving excess returns above what you could earn in a money market. Fund. Right. And on the call, you talked about what you believe are still great opportunities, your words, for investors across a number of structural trends. I might expect that those include the the likes of what AI what else well the combination AI cannot truly happen unless there's a huge investment in infrastructure um, the the amount of energy that is required for AI for is enormous an amount of power generation we are we will run out of electricity if we are going to fully adapt to a full AI world and so the need to build on, and this is all going to stimulate our economy, by the way, to build out of more AI, and w which at the backside is that means building out more electricity power, whether well, the that data is centers, obviously, data centers that and all that. And, it, so much and we're going to have to be building out, you know, tens and tens of giga, uh, you know, gigawatts, not like, not megawatts, gigawatts. And that's, we're talking trillions of dollars of investing. And so the opportunity is enormous in the coming years. And this is one of the fundamental reasons why I believe the United States is leading this. But let's be clear, I'm talking to political leaders in other countries and the, the, their desire to build up data centers, AI, technology, at the same time decarbonization. So this is why I remain to be a little more constructive, why I believe there's elevated uh, inflation in the world. And I, I think all of this is playing out. But back to our earnings, you know, we had a record amount of uh, assets, one, uh, $10.5 trillion. Yes. Um, all of it's our clients' money. Uh, more than 50% of it is retirement. Um, and we saw flows across the board worldwide. We had active flows where still, in many cases, active uh, outflows are occurring in the industry. We had inflows. Um, and, and so the resiliency of our business is only accelerating. For the first time in a long time, I noted our pipeline has never been stronger of noted wins that are going to fund in the future. And so what we see is acceleration in our business model. 